In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I develop color film step by step. What's up, guys? Today, I get to play Mad Scientist. I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you guys step by step how I go and I develop color film at the house. And I use the, the Tetanol, have a, it's like a C41 kit. Comes with a developer and a Blix and a stabilizer, and it, it's really easy. Uh, it, it's just like developing black and white, but you have to be a, a little bit more uh, precise with the temperatures. So I'll go through and uh, I'm going to make a couple assumptions that you already have your kit mixed up. It's at room temperature, and your film that's already exposed is already loaded into your developed tank. I use a Patterson tank. It could be any developed tank. Uh, but th those are going to be the, the starting points for this video is your chemicals are mixed up already and your film is loaded. So uh, the only other things you're, you're going to need, you're definitely going to want a accurate thermometer uh, because it's, it's super important with, with color film uh, to, get, to get your temperature spot on. So uh, a couple extra measuring cups, a funnel is always helpful, and a rag. And I label my, my rag for film because uh, obviously I, I don't want to take it's a dish rag and I don't want to take this and uh, wipe my dishes full of developer that would uh, that wouldn't taste very good so uh, so that's why I do that so let's get right into it and I'll, I'll take you through the process okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring the temperature of the film up to about 102.5 and we're going to do that by pre-soaking it in water. So we're going to get the temperature of the water up to about 102.5, 103. Uh, it's, it's okay to go a little bit higher because the temperature of the developed tank is, is going to be lower and uh, you're going to need to bring that up to temperature as well. So we're going to go ahead and we'll fill the tank with water. You want to agitate just a little bit to make sure that there's if there's any boogies on the film. Uh, you know, that'll, that'll get, get that taken care of. And uh, then this is going to sit for, for about a minute. It can sit a little bit longer as well. Now, while that is pre-soaking we're going to go out and we're going to heat up uh, our mixed chemicals our developer and our blix and the way that i do that is in a water bath uh, i usually get like a, a big stainless steel pot and i fill it with water and then i set both of the developer and blix uh, bottles in there with of course make sure that the tops are off because that you're going to generate pressure with the heat uh, we, we don't want explosions explosions are bad so make sure the tops are off and I, I actually put the, the caps in the same order of the bottle because I've done this before. I've forgotten where each one was placed. So um, I, I would have to pour out a little bit just to see the color and, and remind myself. Uh, so just to avoid doing that, and I, I put them in order of the bottles. Once you see that's gonna come up to temperature, go ahead and we'll pull this off. I just take the whole pot with everything in it and I just bring everything into where I'm going to develop uh, because that handy dandy pot of hot water makes for a nice water bath because we have to keep the develop tank temperature a spot on. Uh, the one thing with color developing is you cannot variate from the temperature. I mean, it really, if you can, but you're going to get color shifts that you're, you're probably not going to like. So we'll go ahead, we'll, we'll dump this out. Mmm, juicy. Okay, set our timer, three minutes and 30 seconds. As soon as you pour in, you want to simultaneously hit start. That sounds kind of messy. Now 
Now, every 30 seconds, you're going to very, very gently, you're, you're going to agitate. And, and, and say, you know, agitate is, is a really strong word. Honestly, you, you just very softly want to move the film back and forth. And that's, that's basically to replenish the developer that's laying against the film. Back and forth like this. And even here might be just a little tad too, too harshly. So every so, so gently. You're going to continue to do this for every 30 seconds. You're going to you're going to go back in five seconds, really maximum. And you're also going to constantly check the temperature because and that's that's why we have our our pot full of hot water there, because if, if you get uh, below 102 or you get close to that 102 mark, you you want to and only during a time when you're going to agitate because moving that develop tank at all is, is pretty much the same thing as agitating. back and forth and back and forth okay when there's about 15 seconds left of the develop I usually get ready and I'll start to pour out you want the you want everything to be out out of the develop container by time that the times over something else worth mentioning is uh, before putting the blicks in sometimes I will go through and I will uh, do like a, uh, a water stop or kind of like a water wash and you want the the temperature of the water to be 102.5 you want it to be the same temperature as the develop is going to be now they don't call for this in the instructions uh, but I found uh, that that it's it honestly gets a better color Sometimes I've, I've wound up with like a, a little bit of a magenta cast and by putting this extra wash in between the develop and the blicks, uh, it, it gets rid of that. Now your fixer should already be at a good temperature. Uh, but we're going to basically follow the same principles. We're, we're going to put it in there and as soon as that, that fixer hits the develop tank, we're, we're going to start the timer and every 30 seconds uh, we're going to agitate now there is a little more leeway you have with the the, the blicks it's between 95 and, and 105 um, and I found that you, you really don't want to stay up near that 105 mark. You kind of want to hang around the, the, the midway, about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's At least that's what's given me the best results. So when you get close to the end of, of your blicks, you want to prep the water and you're going to get ready to wash and you don't want to shock the film with a drastic temperature change. So you want to bring the temperature up, get it around that 95 or so. Uh, so this way when you do uh, transition from the blicks over to the, the water when you start your wash, that there's, you know, it, it's good to go.
So we got about a little, little more than 30 seconds and I'm, I'm getting ready again. Just like with the developer, I want to be pouring my Blix out into my extra container and have everything out of the develop container by the, the zero minute mark. So I'll go ahead, I'll start to pour. And then immediately I'm going to go ahead and I'll put it underneath the water to start to wash. Now it's a good idea to go ahead and agitate that a little bit and then get a, a good couple tanks full of fresh water. I'll wash it around a little bit and then I'll dump it out quite a couple times just to make sure that it's getting a, a really good rinse. I always keep an extra rag around that's marked film that, you know, I'll use that to clean up my area uh, because the stuff will stain your countertop. You know, be warned that uh, you don't want to do this on some nice, beautiful countertops. This is going to be done on a countertop that if you spill something, it's not a big deal. But, you know, for that reason, I'll, I'll keep and I mark my own uh, specific rag so this way that doesn't get used for anything else. It's, it's strictly for developed chemicals. About midway through, you can go ahead and, and get your stabilizer ready. Now with the stabilizer, you want to agitate for about 15 seconds or so, and this doesn't have to be exact, uh, but about 15 seconds or so, you just agitate gently, and then you let that sit for an additional minute. And then that should be good. It's safe to remove the film, give it a good couple shakes, and then we go hang it. I'd let this dry for at least four hours. The longer you let it dry, the, the better, honestly. The four hours to me is the minimum. Uh, otherwise, you get kind of a curling of the film, and uh, that, that's a really, a, it's a pain in the butt when you go to scan it. So as soon as you hang everything up, make sure you just go back and, and clean up your area, clean up all your tools, your develop tank, and, and all that good stuff. Another good idea is actually, once you rinse out your film spools, you can put them in the dishwasher. Because sometimes, even washing it, you'll get like a little bit of a residue from the stabilizer. And when you run them through the dishwasher, that seems to get any kind of residue or stickiness off of them. So that's basically it, guys. It's there's really there's there's not much to it, and once you do it a couple times, honestly, you're going to remember the times and and the directions and and what to do. So, uh, you know, I always keep the the directions handy. I'll, I'll post them on the wall just in case I, you know, I, I get my my mind drifts off, and you know, I can always reference it. But it's not a bad idea. But um, you know, after you do it a couple times, it's it's it you know, it's like it's kind of like driving. You just you just kind of do it. 
Um, so, and this is honestly a, a really good way. It's a, a cost-effective way if, if you shoot a lot. And I know that, you know, it can cost here in the States, it can cost anywhere from 15 to, to 20 or more dollars to develop one roll, where well, you can get this tetanol kit for about 25 bucks, and you might get like 8 to 10 rolls out of it. Uh, you know, before the, the chemicals start to kind of get a little funky. So, you know, it's definitely a, a cost-effective solution. Uh, now, you know, you are putting forth your time, so you got to see what that's worth to you. But, hey, if, if this was helpful, if you could do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and, you know, share the video if, if this could be helpful to somebody. And uh, if you haven't, go ahead, subscribe. I'll put up here somewhere, I'll put a little circle thingy. And... Uh, Go ahead, click that. You'll get notified every time we release a video. Some are how-tos like this. Others are uh, like an overview, camera reviews, and, and whatnot. Uh, everything's film photography related, so if, if that's your kind of thing, uh, go ahead and, and click the button, and, and you'll get the latest and the greatest. So until next time, we'll see you later.